Here are some advanced techniques to know when using the pen tool. These have to do with more of the keyboard shortcuts that you can do when drawing lines. So if I was to start drawing a line by clicking once and then clicking and dragging, you know it will create my Bezier curves. If I was to click again, it will give me a Bezier curve from there. But let's say I didn't want to have a Bezier curve. I want this to be a straight line. I'm going to undo that. This time, instead of clicking again uh, on an empty area, I'm going to click on top of the last point that I created. Notice that when I move my per cursor over that point, it gives me a little uh, conversion point wedge at the bottom right hand side of my cursor. By clicking that, it gets rid of that Bezier curve, so the next time I click, it gives me a straight line. Let me demonstrate that again. Click and drag, click the point again, gets rid of that curve, and then I can do a straight line from there. This is great to know, so now I can go and start creating straight lines and then click and drag and create curved lines. But if I click again, I can go back to using straight lines. Another good keyboard shortcut to know is to be able to move your line around. If I was to click once and start my line, and let's say I didn't like where I clicked right here. Well, I still got my uh, mouse held down. If I hold down my space bar, I can move that point around and not have to commit to it before I let up on my mouse. When I let up, it's committed, and so I can click again, hold down my spacebar, and move that point around as well. So as I click and drag, especially if I'm tracing over something, I may need to be able to readjust things. The final thing you can do is to hold down your option key and readjust the curve after you've created a line. So let's say I didn't like that particular curve. I can hold down my option key and click on the Bezier handle and it'll move only that handle and readjust it. I can then continue clicking around and creating lines again. Now once I've gone too far, this is where I'll have to use my direct selection tool by choosing A, going back to that path, and then using that tool to readjust the lines as well. Let's try something on if I wanted to retrace this particular logo. Whenever I look at this logo, I try to think of my path as the face of a clock. I've got 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6, and 9. So if I was to retrace it off using my pen tool, I'm going to start at the 12 o'clock position, clicking once, and I know I've got a curve right here. So I'm going to click and drag to give me my curvature, and I'm going to try to match that curve up as close as possible. That's pretty good. Since I've already got a Bezier curve here, I can click again and it finishes out that curve, but you can see it's not perfect. So this is where I may need to hold down my option key and drag again and reposition that curve that I created. And I can continue clicking again. Scroll down a little bit. Then I can click. I know I've got a curve here, so I'll need to click and drag. And I've matched that curve. To match this one, Here's where that 6 o'clock level would be, so I can click and drag. But again, that particular curve isn't matching up. Hold down my Option key, and I can drag it back into place. Doing this over and over again, you want to have as few curves as possible. And I've done this a lot, so I know exactly um, about where my handles will be, and I can move pretty quickly. What I don't want to do is to do a bunch of straight lines where I'm just clicking a bunch of times and I'm just simulating a curved texture. That's not a true curve. I'm going to undo all of that. What I really want is I know this is a solid curve so I can work between this point and then I can click all the way down here at the end and drag and curve my line till it fits almost perfectly. If it's not perfect, let's back up. I can use my option tool to readjust it till it is perfect. And I would continue moving along until I got the entire logo completely traced off. The more you practice it, the better you'll become at using the pen tool and tracing things uh, for, that you need.